Hi everyone! So I decided to show you who my next baby or my next reborn that I am painting. Uh, so I thought I'd take you um, along. Um, it's already had its first layer and I always start with a thinning medium. Um, so the paint seems to grab a little bit better when I start with a thinning medium. So I always this is just the way I always do my babies so they look very very white um, as you can tell and there's some shadow you can see the shadow right here it's only because I have the light coming from this side so there's some shadow but this kid is very very light colored so she's gonna need a lot of color on her so can anybody tell who this baby is by there's the foot and the legs. Can anybody tell who this baby is? Some of you guys are really good at guessing like what or who the baby is. So I'm going to turn it a little bit more so you can see the hands. Let me turn it out some because it's hitting. So this is the hand. So can you see the hand? And then this is the other hand and it's just a little fisted hand um, so I'm hoping you can see this I really don't want to touch it too much because it needs to be baked but there is the hand and I love that her thumb is like underneath her middle finger I think that's so cute and I think that's a giveaway uh, this little part here to I don't know if it's better to show you. Well, I just she, you just seen her face. I wasn't going to do that, but you just seen her face. So there she is here. I'm going to bring her up so you guys can really see her. <laughs> so she is been around for quite a while. Um, I'm trying to get the best view. Okay, there we go. So she's been around a little while. Um, I can't, I mean, quite a while. She has... Not quite a while. It's been, I would say, I don't know, guys. I'm just guesstimating. Okay, she is a real born. So she is a skin of a real baby. And I've had her for a while. I just never did her, but I just love that face. It is so cute. So I thought I would go ahead and make her. Look at how cute. I can't wait to see when she is done. So guys, did you all guess who this is? I'm just curious to see who knows their reborns. But um, if anybody doesn't know, okay, I'm going to tell you who it is. This baby has a beautiful head. Look at the look at the head. I mean, the ears, back of the head. Oops, I'm going to drop her on the floor. So <laughs> I'm going to pick her up a little bit. And she has a little indentation in the back of her neck. But she is super cute super super cute so I'm doing this very awkwardly because like I said she is painted with a uh, thinning medium I dried her overnight so she is ready to bake and I can start painting but this is an this is my new one that I'm going to be painting and she will be for sale when done um, it'll be a little while she will have painted hair um, and she will more than likely I'm gonna you know try to see best I can to put a magnet behind her mouth because her lips are kind of see how her lips are you could kind of see from the side view that that top lip is puckered out there but we will see what we can do as far as getting her a pacifier so anyways guys you know what it is I don't know if you don't know what it is if anybody's in the reborn community who's watching this um, this is the June asleep and so, as you know, she has been out a long time because now I believe there is a June awake. So she's been out for quite a while. And I don't know if I gave it to you with this little, you know, right here with that thumb being um, kind of tucked. Actually, I think it's, yeah, um, the thumb being tucked underneath that. I think it's her middle finger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's her middle finger um, being tucked away. Um... I'm sorry I'm a little off because the way I'm looking at my pieces and the way my camera is, it's just kind of weird. It doesn't seem like it's 
like when I look at it it doesn't look like I'm showing the right things but I am <laughs> but there's her other hand and look at that open hand that open hand is going to be so cute when she's done I love open hands um, I, I like the fisted and it's cute on one side but I definitely do like open hands on the other side you know or both I'm I'm like I don't know I love fisted but I like the open hands but anyways her feet are super cute you guys can see like when I go to do something I'm trying to do this turning and showing you her feet but her feet are really cute and like I said I don't want to keep picking her up too much because I have to bake her but look at her toes her toes are so cute let me bring her over here you can see her better I think you can I don't know this is my craft room guys so it's a mess just FYI but look at those cute toes she has really tiny toes so she's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge you can hardly see that um, there you go you can see it right there yeah her toes are kinda small her little her little toenail beds so she's going to be really fun trying to paint those toes <laughs> but I've I've never made a kit I've never painted a June kit before so I'm hoping she'll come out really cute but like I said she does have her okay her head's getting hit um, and I don't want to do that because like I said she needs to be baked and I don't want anything going wrong with her and I just touched her probably with the oils of my hands which is not the best thing so I will get a sponge and I will sponge that off but yeah you don't want to get oils on their hands you just want to try to on your you know on the pieces when they're already painted you know I sometimes I use a glove sometimes I don't it all depends but yeah so it's hard she's hard to see over here so I really have to kind of lift her up so you can see her but I'm excited to get you know get started on her and get her painted I know people have been asking me um what you know when are you gonna do your next reborn you know um, a lot of people on my Etsy have left me messages saying I want you know your next reborn whatever it is you know they have certain budget and they want it at that budget so um, I will do as much as possible to not have such large prices on my dolls because I don't do this to make money I do this as a hobby um, the money is good when I do get it <laughs> I mean you know what the heck um, but I really do it more as a hobby than it is money wise and people know me that I don't charge a huge amount on my babies because I want everybody to have one and they can get very expensive and like I said I don't root my hair uh, my doll heads now if in the reason why I don't do this because I try to keep my cost down because to root a head is another three hundred dollars so if I want to sell this baby for three hundred it's gonna be six hundred to have a rooted doll head and um, I root uh, not that good I'm still learning how to root um, so at this point I think it's just easier for me to you know paint the hair and do it that way but anyway so I just wanted to come out here guys and show you um, what I'm working on next and like so she's going to be baked right now because uh, she is dry I'm going to bake her and then I'm going to start painting her so it'll be a couple weeks two or three weeks before you see the finished product uh, depending on how my back holds up because I do have a bad back sometimes I can go for uh, a couple hours sometimes I can go for one hour and sometimes I can go for four hours it all depends on how my back is but anyways guys I just thought I'd come out here and show you what I'm working on so everybody knows if you are interested in this baby she will be for sale I'm not gonna say how much she is yet because I really don't know uh, what the price I want to put on her yet um, like I said she is an older baby but she was a very popular baby when she came out and I thought let's go ahead I had some kits from a while back ago and I need to get them painted and I need to um, get them out <laughs> so I can restock some new ones but I need to get rid of the other ones that I have before I keep buying because I have bought some new ones but I need to get rid of some of the other ones and I don't mean to say get rid of them I just mean I need to get them painted so I can make more room for my um, 
new ones coming in you know I can't I don't uh, my space is only so so much so I can only buy so many kits at one time so uh, I have to use I, I like to paint the old ones before I start painting on the new ones and then by the time I paint the new ones they're gonna be old and then the other ones are coming out I mean the kits of dolls come out very very fast so um, you know I it's it's all as fast as you work and I don't work very fast I do these when I have some time because I also craft and make cards. Um, so I'm doing that and I'm going to be putting them on my Etsy. Um, I haven't got them made yet. Um, they are going to be, most of them are Christmas ones that I'm going to be making. And I'm so excited because I got some of the best things that I've found in making these Christmas cards. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started with them. So if anybody is looking for Christmas cards in the next few weeks or so, um, I'm going to try to get her done too and maybe try to do her in between my cards. I don't know. But I might have some out in the next, um, I don't know, two or three weeks, I'm going to just say, um, for Christmas because people like to get their cards and done early. I like to get them done early. Um, but some people want to buy their stuff, you know, their Christmas stuff a little bit early. It is... Christmas in July, but it's now August, so we've already passed that stage. But look at my table. I really need to reorganize <laughs> because it's rather a mess. So definitely need to reorganize. There's some of my sponges and my paint tray. Um, I don't really... I should start putting them in glass bottles and having those colors there all the time. So when I need them, they're already done. And I may start doing that. I am just one person that goes from palette to palette. So I will make just enough color for my babies. And then once I'm done with that baby, I start all over and redo my colors. So none of my babies come out exactly the same. Because they are all made of different colors. I just combine my colors and whatever comes out, comes out. So... Anyways, guys, I didn't mean this video to go this long. It's already after 12 minutes, so I'm going to let you go. But um, I just wanted to update you and let you know and see a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, maybe after she gets a little bit more color, I will come back out here and I will show you what she looks like so far after I get several coats of paint on her, several painted layers and baked layers. I will come out here and I will show you my progress. So... Anyways, guys, this is my video for today. I hope you all liked it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I so, so, so appreciate it. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Stay safe. Make sure you press that notification bell um, to make sure you see all of my up-and-coming videos. And have a blessed day, guys. I will talk to you soon.